Well, my official title is key artist, um, unofficially, I guess, or within Sideshow would be you know, on top of that lead, lead paint. Not necessarily painting everything, but coordinating, um, painting, deciding which reference we use, which, which way we go on a certain project as far as paint goes. The funny thing, I think my biggest accomplishment is working here, actually. I mean, I've, I remember always going, ah, oh, it'd be so awesome to work in a place like Sideshow because at the time they were doing Universal Monsters. They were doing the stuff that I was really into. Um, but outside of Sideshow, I would have to say probably painting life-size dinosaurs. I mean, being a fan of dinosaurs since I was old enough to open a page on a book and then actually taking it, you know, full circle to working on a life-size, scientifically accurate dinosaur, you know, painting and building. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty awe-inspiring at the time. <laughs> I think I'm a fan first. And the only reason I say that is because a majority of my collection is of other people's work. I would say, you know, I love art books, conceptual art, whether it's vintage poster art, photography, even books that are, you know, especially science books, anything. And that kind of takes it a little bit out of the realm of collections, but in a way it kind of doesn't. I mean, it's, you know, I collect everything. Just to attest to that is I have a garage full of unpainted resin kits. I'm an artist, I'm, I paint for a living, yet they're not painted. And you know, some of that has to do with, well, a lot of it has to do with because I'm painting every day and I don't have time to do it anymore, but I still collect, you know? It's almost like some people say an obsession, but I, it's the reason I collect isn't just to have. I'm not like, oh, I gotta have that. It's because I appreciate what it is. What inspires me are, you know, and I don't know if this is cliche or not, but it's other artists, to be honest. I'm surrounded by a lot of talent and it's easy to just almost be, you know, you, you become relaxed, uh, you know, being around talent. You almost take it, you know, for granted, the amount of talent that you're surrounded by. But for me, always being, you know, I've been into this stuff for years and it, I think what inspires me is to almost step away from the sideshow environment and kind of go back to my collecting roots, which is like model kits, um, some of the Japanese model builders. There's an artist named uh, Takeyuki Takia, one of the top designers, sculptors, not just in Japan, but you know, in the world, really. Um, there are some 2D artists. Um, I could go on and on, but to me, I find inspiration in the Japanese. I think it's, it, it's more so just because their ideas and their artistic senses are different than the U.S. type. So seeing that, it's just like, it kind of opens up doors and even just techniques. I mean, I can grab like a Hobby Japan or, you know, a military Japanese model magazine. And even though everything is in Japanese text, I mean, they're, they're, their publications are always known to have beautiful pictures and concisive step-by-step -step imagery. I mean, I can pick that up and just go through it like a picture book and see what they're doing and, and almost like decipher techniques and just go, wow, you know, holy shit, that's what they're doing? I, I would have never thought of doing it that way. You know, that's really where my inspiration comes from. You know, it's, uh, you know, kind of just stepping away and, and seeing some of what other people are doing, really. First of all, I don't see myself ever being grown up. <laughs> I guess the best at what I do, but um, that might sound kind of like a cop out. I, you know, there's there's times where I think, you know, you know some of us will talk, and you know, sometimes I hear people go, well, I don't want to do this, you know, all my life, or or you know, or what are you gonna, you know, what about this, or what about that, you know, thinking along the lines of the future. The weird thing is, I see myself doing this forever, whether it's you know here at Sideshow, which would be fine with me, but I still even, you know, say if I did retire or whatever, I still see myself, you know, going probably, you know, full circle back to making it my hobby. I mean, uh, I don't ever see myself being not interested in this type of stuff, you know, when I grow up. Uh, that's, that's a long ways off, <laughs> in my opinion.